Meet Anwar al-Awlaki, the radical Islamist dubbed the Bin Laden of the Internet for his mastery of digital media. Seen by the US as leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, American-born Awalaki is a key inspirational figure for homegrown Western terrorists and says jihad is as American as apple pie and as British as afternoon tea. Awalaki spent much of his childhood in his family's native Yemen before returning to America to acquire his two degrees. In 1993, he visited Afghanistan, where he claims he trained with the Mujahideen. After university, he served as an imam at several mosques. He was arrested twice during his time in San Diego for soliciting prostitutes and investigated by the FBI for suspected ties to Hamas, Al-Qaeda and the terrorists behind the 1993 World Trade Center and 2000 USS Cole bombings. Two of the 9-11 hijackers met with Awalaki and there's evidence he helped them find money and apartments. Awalaki left the US in 2002, lecturing in the UK before moving to Yemen in 2004, where he is now in hiding. For Muslim youths in the West, not fluent in Arabic, Awalaki's videos and blogs speak their language in plain English. America cannot and will not win. The tables have turned and there's no rolling back of the worldwide jihad movement. He also references pop culture. In one YouTube video, Awalaki ridiculed Michael Jackson's death, using it to sell Holy War. He broadcasts by video link to England and in 2009 delivered a sermon by phone to Sydney's Lakemba Mosque. Nadal Hassan, the Muslim US Army psychiatrist charged with the Fort Hood shooting in Texas, exchanged emails beforehand with Awalaki seeking religious guidance. Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib allegedly met with Awalaki before attempting to blow up a Detroit bound plane. And Faisal Shahzad, who admitted trying to set off a car bomb in Times Square in May 2010, told investigators he was inspired by Awalaki's online lectures. Some Muslim scholars are surprised by Awalaki's profile. He has no formal Islamic training and is not seen as a leader within radical Islamist circles. But his influence over Western converts means the US does take him seriously. In April 2010, after declaring jihad against America binding for every able Muslim, Awalaki became the first American citizen to make the CIA kill list. Earlier this month, he narrowly evaded a drone attack in Yemen, which killed two other alleged Al-Qaeda militants. Anwar al Awalaki, using all the new media weapons of the 21st century to wage a medieval war. Osama 2.0.